in the last two lectures, we have discussed about the content of this course and also the importance of the statistic in scientific research. And we also discuss about the data type and for different type of data, how we organizing the data and how we summarize the data. So this week, we're going to start to discuss about the basic statistics. So after this lecture, you will be able to describe the differences between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. And describe the way of exploring data, so how to explore data by using different chart. And explain the parameter they use to describe data. And then you also need to know how to calculate the parameters they use to describe data. The outline of this lecture is as following. So first we will discuss what is the difference between descriptive statistic and inferential statistic. And also for descriptive statistic, we're going to discuss how to explore data and how to describe the data by using parameter for descriptive statistic. So for inferential statistics, we will discuss in the next few weeks when we learn different type of the statistical test as an inferential statistic to make a conclusion of a population based on a samples. So first is about descriptive statistic and inferential statistic. So as we discussed before, statistic is a branch of mathematical science. So the fundamental concept of statistics is that usually we cannot estimate the entire population or calculate the parameter for entire population. So for example, if you want to calculate the mean of the body height for all Malaysians, it is impossible to measure every citizen. So that's the reason why we need to collect a sample. So a sample might consist of uh, 10,000 citizens or what we call the observation, and then measure the body height. After that, we calculate the mean, and we use the mean of the sample to estimate the population mean. So we assume that if our sample is, is a good sample, without any bias when we do the data collecting, then the sample statistic can be used as an estimate for the population parameter. So there's two types of statistics. So first is a descriptive statistic. Another one is inferential statistic. So for descriptive statistic, it's used to describe data set. So the data set can be a from a population. And the conclusion was made for the, that particular data set only. So if you derive any conclusion from the data set, it's only applied and made for the data set only. So there's no attempt to use statistics of the data set to draw a conclusion for the whole populations. On the other hand, for inferential statistics, we also have a data set, but we use it to infer the conclusion for the whole populations. And the statistics of data set were used to estimate the population parameter. 